This video is meant to be a dictionary to translate from your normal TCP IP networking knowledge into Amazon AWS or Amazon Web Services nomenclature. Let's start with the probably the most popular S3 stands for Secure Store, uh, Storage Service. Think of it as a box. This is a place where you can put your stuff, your DB2 backup, your database backups, or uh, whatever customer information, wh whatever it is you put, you put it on the cloud, and there there will be more talk on this video on how you uh, try to secure those. So there's a concept in it called buckets, and think of them as kind of uh, super folders in which. Uh, typically, in, 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 in security, we use those to put the logs. And I made a video on how you collect uh, the umbrella, the Cisco umbrella logs. Uh, they put those into an, an S3 bucket, and then you can uh, get those logs from that uh, S3 bucket, or you can also get those from CloudTrail. More on it later. There is a new way uh, that Curator also support that allows you to combine all those entities being, uh, instead of being collecting logs from multiple buckets and regions and all that uh, stuff you can combine them all into something that Amazon calls log groups and these are think of uh, super folders where all logs get combined and then you only bring from one log group into Curator and you grab all that all the data. Next Elastic computing, Elastic Cloud Computing. Think of this as your VMware. This is how you deploy instances uh, uh, without many, you know, uh, CPUs you need here and there. You deploy those. And Amazon doesn't use standard ISO image. They use something called AMI, AMI which is Amazon Machine Image. This is a, think of it as an ISO configure, uh, pre-configuring the way that Amazon needs it to run into their environment. Moving quickly, next is Identity and Access Management Service. And here's where you define users. For example, your user for Curator to retrieve the, the logs. You need to assign those roles and policies to determine who can actually access what. For example, when you are retrieving Curator logs, you need to you know, specify. In general, everything in Amazon is, everything is denied until you, you begin to allowed access and that's the way it has to be because there are no VPN there's nothing that is protecting you uh, out there so you also use identity and access management to grant the permission for your uh, you know the images the virtual machines that you uh, deploy in here so next cloud trail and this is and the name implies you need to create a trail and this basically a trail is nothing more than what is it that I'm tracking by default you're not going to get information about everything that is happening on 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 amazon you need to actually specify what well, i want a trail that is going to be you know tracking these and these and that and of course as i mentioned before you can get those into curator by virtue of the logs groups a region nothing more than because amazon charge you for and actually apparently a lot for traffic that goes against one group of uh, physically uh, collocated machine called a region then you need to specify whether you are in the east and then uh, all the traffic goes or most of the traffic goes within your own region and then you avoid uh, the, those payments everything in amazon has a url that you can access you know an s3 buckets and, and an instance of a vm uh, and even a much lower level of granularity everything has an, a url and and there is some metadata uh, information about that and actually we are going to be addressing this on how you need to protect your system with curator to avoid that metadata to be used uh, against you to, to be used by, a, by an attacker to get additional information uh, from uh, your system next on the list is CloudWatch uh, think of this as okay when when this happens then do that uh, kind of a, they call these alarms there's nothing more than you know uh, automation that you perform and you know when, when, when things happen and here is where you actually define uh, the log groups that i was uh, referring to uh, before 
Okay. They also have a concept called lambda, and this seems to be nothing more than kind of a, a way of when this process happens, execute this piece of code. It can be a Python code that you want to execute. Uh, kind of the same thing that you do in Curator when an offense fires. You can you can actually want to have uh, some script uh, being run. Moving quickly, BPC uh, virtual uh, uh, virtual uh, private cloud. Sorry. Uh, this is your networking. Here's where you define your external facing network, your internal facing network, your CDAT ranges, your subnets, your internet gateway, your DHCP. This is your networking, it just has a different name. Along that, they, they, they have something called BPC flows and the accordingly BPC flow locks. Think of this as kind of your firewall uh, rules and locks. It's not exactly the same, but it's very similar. What is actually what's going in, what's going out, uh, that's what they call uh, BPC flows. Root or Route 53 is, that's by the name, in Pi, by the port, is your DNS settings, where you go and specify your DNS resolvers and all that good stuff. And again, out of all these, I'm planning to be putting some videos that show how I use this and how I pass all this information with Curator. And speaking of Curator, there's something in there called Guard Duty, which you can find, you know, as an analogy, it's kind of a very primitive Curator, uh, which allows you to detect uh, some things uh, that they call findings. Again, more of this on the on the videos that I will be doing, but I wanted to put this short dictionary for you to get the a handle on the lingo and what all these names are. Uh, imply in AWS.